Fluid Dynamics Tutorial Non-Newtonian Flow in an Extrusion Die This example models flow of a polymer through an extrusion die with two outlets. This type of flow can for example be found in manufacturing processes of plastic parts. The polymer is assumed to be non-Newtonian, and can be modeled with a shear thinning bird caro viscosity model. The die is also assumed to be rotationally symmetric, allowing a reduction of the model geometry to an axisymmetric cross-section. This tutorial can be run by selecting, model examples and tutorials, fluid dynamics, non-Newtonian flow in an extrusion die, from the file menu, and followed along with the step-by-step -step instructions in the user's guide. To start a new model click the New Model Toolbar button, or select New Model from the File menu. Select the Axisymmetry Radio button. Select the Non-Newtonian Flow Physics mode from the Select Physics drop-down menu. Press OK to finish the physics mode selection. The cross section of the geometry can be constructed by using the polygon tool and subtracting two cylinders. Select polygon from the geometry menu. Enter the following data into the point coordinates table. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Select circle from the geometry menu. Enter 00 0.03 into the center edit field. Enter 0 0.01 into the radius edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Select circle from the geometry menu. Enter 0 0.0175 0.05 into the center edit field. Enter 0 0.0025 into the radius edit field. Press OK to finish and close the dialog box. Select P1, C1, and C2 in the geometry object selection list box. Press the Subtract Geometry Objects Toolbar button. Grid Mode Switch to Grid Mode by clicking on the corresponding Mode Toolbar button. The default grid may be too coarse to ensure an accurate solution. Decrease the grid size to 8 to the power of minus 4 to generate a finer grid that can resolve the curved boundaries better. Press the Generate button to call the automatic grid generation algorithm. Equation Mode Switch to Equation Mode by clicking on the corresponding Mode Toolbar button. Equation and Material Coefficients can be specified in Equation Subdomain Mode. Note that FEA tool works with any unit system, 
and it is up to the user to use consistent units for geometry dimensions, material, equation, and boundary coefficients. Enter 510 into the density edit field. The bird caro viscosity model is used here. With a zero shear rate viscosity of 130 pascal seconds, relaxation time of 0.015, and power index 0.43. Select Bird Caro from the Viscosity Model drop down menu. Note that the expression in the edit field for the viscosity now has been updated with the chosen viscosity model. Enter 130 into the reference viscosity edit field. Enter 0 into the viscosity at infinite shear rate edit field. Enter 0.015 into the model parameter edit field. Enter 0.43 into the power law index edit field. Press OK to finish the equation and subdomain settings specification. Boundary mode. Switch to boundary mode by clicking on the corresponding mode toolbar button. A differential pressure of 20,000 pascal is applied between the inlet and the two outlets. Select one in the boundaries list box. Select outflow pressure from the non-Newtonian flow drop-down menu. Enter 2 to the power of 4 into the pressure edit field. Select 5 and 10 in the boundaries list box. Select neutral outflow stress boundary from the non-Newtonian flow drop-down menu. Boundaries along the symmetry axis must be set to the symmetry and slip condition. Select 13 in the boundaries list box. Select symmetry slip from the non-Newtonian flow drop-down menu. Press OK to finish the boundary condition specification. Now that the problem is fully specified, Press the Solve Mode toolbar button to switch to Solve Mode. Then press the Tool button, with an equals 2 sign, to call the solver with the default solver settings. Post-processing mode. After the problem has been solved, FEA tool will automatically switch to post-processing mode and display the computed velocity field. To change the plot, open the post-processing settings dialog box by clicking on the plot options toolbar button. Visualize the effective viscosity and the flow field as arrows. Select Effective Viscosity from the predefined Surface Plot Expressions drop-down menu. Select the Enable Disable Arrow Plot checkbox. Enter 20 into the Edit field for arrow spacing in the R direction.
10 to 50 into the edit field for arrow spacing in the Z direction. Select white from the Select Arrow Color drop down menu. Press OK to plot and visualize the selected post processing options. The effective viscosity is decreased in regions where the velocity field exhibit gradients, as is expected for shear thinning fluids. We can also use the line plot functionality to plot and see the difference in the flow field at the outlets. Select point line evaluation from the post menu. Select velocity field from the evaluation expression drop down menu. Enter an expression for a vector from 0.01 to 0.025 in steps of 1e-4, in the edit field for evaluation coordinates in the R direction. Similarly, enter an expression with a corresponding amount of points at Z equals to 0.06, in the edit field for evaluation coordinates in the Z direction. Press OK to plot the curve and close the dialog box. To visualize the full 3D solution the model data can be exported to the MATLAB console, where the postrevolve and postplot functions can be applied. The tutorial is now complete, and the model can be saved as a binary file exported as a MATLAB M script file, or a GUI playback file.